Hello students, welcome to Recitals in Depth by Vajiram and Ravi. In this video, we will be discussing about India mapping for the month May 2024 from the recitals. In the mapping exercise, we discuss about a geographical location from India which appeared in current events for any particular reason. Hello students, welcome to Recitals in Depth May 2024 by Vajiram and Ravi. In this video, we will be discussing about India mapping. As you are aware, when we take the mapping as an exercise, whatever the reason the current affairs has occurred, we take the geographical location and see it from the geographical point of view. And the India-Nepal border uh, dispute has been occurred with respect to the news. So we do have the locations and the place where the border dispute has been largely been discussed is Kalapani. Here there is a river called River Kali. That river Kali Kapani, Kalapani has been said with respect to it. The river is called as Mahakali in Nepal. And the river is called as Kali in India. This also acts as a natural border. The river acts as a natural border between the regions. The problem arises with respect to the source of the river, right? The source of the river is disputed where India states the source of the river is in Pitorgarh in Uttarakhand regions. Whereas according to Nepal, Nepal states the source of the river is in Lipu Lake regions. So we do have two important locations, one is Kalapani and then Lipu Lake regions. And Lipu Lake, oh, copy, and Lipu Lake is a Himalayan pass which connects the state of Uttarakhand and Tibet regions. There is regarding to the river Kali, the river Kali is an important river both in Nepal and also with respect to Indian regions. The river Kali is a tributary of river Gagar which is a tributary of Ganga. Right? Moving on to next geographical location, Ghatkopar, the place Ghatkopar had a, has been located in Mumbai. It's a suburb of Mumbai region. It has been in news because of a holding tragedy that happened in Maharashtra, Darjeeling. Yes. Everyone has been aware of the place Darjeeling has been located in the northernmost part of West Bengal. With respect to geography, the region is also known for highly with respect to tourism, tea cultivation. Apart from this, the important rivers that flows through the regions include Tista, Rangit, Mahananda and Jalaka. These are the important rivers that flow through the regions, Darjeeling shares border with Nepal as well. Moving to the next geographical locations, before that the Darjeeling has been in news for snow leopard conservation program. The Darjeeling zoo is also called as Mother Naidu Himalayan zoological park which has been has achieved a large amount of success in conservation breeding such conservation breeding of snow leopards and for it it has been recognized at the international arena for its conser successful conservation breeding and it has been in use 
Going to the next geographical location, this is Nilgiris. See, the Nilgiris is a trijunction of Tamil Nadu, Kerala, and Karnataka. The most important part of Nilgiris is Nilgiris is a, acts as a connection or connecting place between Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats. When I say Nilgiris, Nilgiris as a region, not as UT, right? In that particular place, the Western Ghats mountains and the Eastern Ghats mountains intersect with each other. That's one of the most important point. And because of this, uh, that intersecting point is present in Tamil Nadu. So Tamil Nadu is the only state which has both Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats. Not to confuse because when we started saying that, Nilgiris is the trijunction of Kerala, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Second point is different. In Tamil Nadu, Nilgiris interconnects with respect to Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats. Tamil Nadu is the only place where Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats connect with each other. And the entire sect of Nilgiris is on the Western Ghats region is also known for Shola grassland ecosystems. Which are unique and endemic and Nilgiris has also been and Sholas are also been in news in the recent times. The Tamil Nadu government has come up with Nilgiri Tar which is a goat variety similar to Himalayan Tar which is present in the Himalayan regions. Nilgiri Tar conservation program by the government of Tamil Nadu been brought in. Moving to the next geographical location, uh, with respect to the village in Telangana, Panigri village. The Panigri village is an important Buddhist site, an important Buddhist site located in the river called Bikeru river. This river Bikeru is a tributary of river Musi. If you are from Telangana or Andhra regions, if you have been to Hyderabad, you would have come across this river Musi, which is one of the most important rivers of Telangana. But the river Musi can also be given as an example for urban floods or urban encroachment or unplanned urban development. Today, if you go on to Musi, Hyderabad, you see Musi, Musi is highly encroached. Musi has also been highly polluted. And whenever in such a scenario, when a high copious rainfall takes place, the region faces a huge amount of flood, like 2012 floods of Hyderabad. It's an important Buddhist site. Moving on to places in news, national places in news, we'll circle from one after the other, right? We we'll start with respect to Shaks Gaum Valley, which is also called as Trans Karakoram Track. Trans Karakoram Track. It's a part of Indian territory. Illegally occupied by Pakistan. It's located in Pakistan occupied Kashmir. In 1963, this territory of Shaksam Valley has been ceded to China by Pakistan. Again, this is part of Indian territory, illegally occupied by Pakistan. Right? Recently, the government of India has also raised concern against the construction that has been taking place in the trans Karakoram tract. And that is why it has been in news, Shaksam Valley. Moving to the second location, Shinkunla Tunnel. See, Shinkunla. The word La in most of the time periods, whenever it has been the La you come across in Himalayan regions, it will indicate mountain pass. Shinkunla is pass connects Hanskar Valley in Ladakh with Lahul, 
valley in Uttarakhand regions. Shinkunla. Now, this is with respect to Shinkunla. The Shinkunla tunnel is a 4.1 kilometer tunnel which has been connect which has been constructed to create all weather road access to Ladakh. Shinkunla tunnel connected to provide all weather road access to Ladakh. Right. Next point within them. This all weather road has been constructed on Nimmu Padam Tarcha Road. This tunnel is constructed as part of Nimmu Pana Nimmu. Padam Darcha Road, hope copied, right, moving further, Kalesar Wildlife Sanctuary which has been in news couple of times over the last one year of a time, the most important thing that you have to know is it is present in Haryana, in the foothills of Shivaliks, I hope it is more than sufficient, right, moving to the Kalesar Wildlife Sanctuary in foothills of Shivalik in Assam. Moving on to the next Sundarban regions. Sundarbans is the mangrove forest ecosystem. Sundarbans is the single largest mangrove forest. in the world and within this single largest mangrove forest and Sundarbans is spread across two countries India and Bangladesh and Bangladesh has the largest area of Sundarbans Bangladesh has the largest area of Sundarbans. Within India, in terms of mangrove forest cover, West Bengal as the largest area of Sundarbans, that is part of Sundarbans in West Bengal, gives the largest area of mangroves in Sundarbans in India, followed by West Bengal, Gujarat, Andaman, and Nicobar Islands. The first three locations Sundarbans, Gujarat, Andaman, and Nicobar Islands. These are with respect to regions. And Sundarban is the only area in the world, only mangrove forest in the world where tigers are present. Only mangrove forest where tiger is present. Tigers are present in all other regions, but within mangrove forest, Sundarbans is the only area where tigers are present. And the speciality of the tigers are the tigers swim, but these tigers are excellent swimmers, and they also consume fishes as an adaptation to the ecosystem. Royal Bengal tigers. Moving to the next, Pulikad wetland has been already in prelims. Pulikad wetland is a brackish water ecosystem. Spread across two states, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. It is highly known for migratory birds. The largest part of Pulikat is present within Andhra Pradesh. Certain small part of Pulikat is present in the state of Tamil Nadu. And the satellite launching station Sriharigota is located in Pulikat. Brackish water ecosystems and important wetland. Moving further to Mullai Periya Dam, there have been two rivers, Mullayar, River Mullayar and River Periyar. See, every language has a kind of information that you will get with respect to it. R indicates river. In Tamil Nadu and Kerala, 
in tamil and malayalam if the word is r it will indicate it's a river for the other state language people to make it much more easier similarly we spoke about how la indicates pass here r indicates river right two rivers on the two rivers the dam mullai periyar mullai periyar has been constructed on in 18 in 1800s in 1800s the dam has been constructed 1800s dam has been constructed by the travancore princess by 1800 the dam has been constructed by the traven princely state of travancore princess 1880s to be precise right and in 1886 under the treaty the princely state of travancore and madras presidency entered into an agreement through this agreement there has been a lease that has been made the lease gives the right of 999 years of lease and it gives the right to the state of tamil nadu to use the rivers to construct irrigation projects to provide water to arid regions of tamil nadu you will be able to see this mulla periyar dam and its issue between the disputed between the state of tamil nadu and kerala for a longer time period and it stems from the history mm. and both the states have been having a different views in terms of the usage of it and increasing its height that's why it has been in ray occurring in the news multiple times right moving to badra tiger reserve see you would have come across a river called as tungabhadra The Tungabhadra is a river. It's been originated by confluence of two rivers, Tunga and Badra. They both confluence and Tungabhadra River. And the Badra Tiger Reserve is located in the areas where the Badra River has been present. An important tiger reserve in the country and in Karnataka. Moving to the next tiger reserve. Sayadri Tiger Reserve. In most of these times, you do know the river and the location will be sufficient for the preliminary point. Sayadri Tiger Reserve is present in Maharashtra. We do have the rivers of Koina, Koina and Vara. I'm not sure. spelling. Koina and Vara rivers will be present with respect to Sayadri Tiger Reserve. It is present in Maharashtra. Gandhi Sagar Wildlife Sanctuary. It is present in Madhya Pradesh, very near to Rajasthan border. Gandhi Sagar Reservoir is built on Chambal River. In important wildlife includes gharial gangetic dolphin freshwater crocodiles these are the three major things that we mentioned is on the river biodiversity apart from this the gandhi sagar wildlife sanctuary has been in news because it has been identified as the second home for the cheetahs just been reintroduced into indian subcontinent and the last point for india mapping for the may month is aravalli ranges one of the old fold mountains of the world two important rivers includes banas Luni, Sahibi. Some maps write it as Sabi. Some write it as Sabi Sahibi. Sahibi rivers, three important rivers, and the important peaks peaks include Guru Shikar and 
Mount Abu. We also have infrared observatory in the region. The region Aravallis is also known for a good amount of mineral resources. It has been in news because of the mining that is large scale happening and the destruction that has been taking place and the follow up of government mechanisms to safeguard it. Hope you enjoyed the session. We will meet again next month. Thank you.